have to catch my flight. I've never been this late on the airport. And now a little bit of jogging in the beginning of this vlog. And yeah, if I can get the flight, I will get to Budapest to Green Aqua. See you there, guys. Just made it to Green Aqua, what a surprise, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. It's so good to be here and some of you know I've been here for the opening ceremony, it was such a great event, I filmed everything but the audio was a complete mess so decided not to use it. Now I'm back here recording something nice and crisp for you, so guys without any further ado let's get inside and check this place out. Green Aqua is a really unique space. You get inside this gallery. First of all, you see this beautiful Apple Store-like counter where the people are looking friendly at you and are helpful really you know, to show you around and help you with your inquiries. When you get inside, on the right side, you get all the products. So you see the filters, the fertilizers, the tools, like everything. Basically like in a regular local fish store, but nicely arranged shelves and everything. Products are arranged in a very clever way. While in regular stores you can find all products from one brand like all together, at Green Aqua they have the products mixed by the categories. Basically all the filters from all the different brands are in one corner. All the tools from all different brands are in another corner. Same for fertilizers, same for water conditioners and you know like accessories, fish, food, whatever, you name it. The other part of Green Aqua is the beautiful gallery and one part of the gallery is of course the plant selection. They don't only have their own range of tissue culture plants, no, they also stock Tropica, Denali, Aquaflora, you know, all the major brands. In addition to the tissue culture plants, they also have regular potted plants. They have like three huge aquariums with potted plants, all with CO2, strong light, so the plants are growing. <laughs> really perfect submerged conditions. On top of this, they also have terrarium plants, like uh, air plants, if you are into terrariums, if that's something you like, and orchids and all kind of terrestrial plants as well. If you go further and get deeper into the gallery, this is where, you know, like the really fun part starts. You have all the beautiful display aquariums, they're all aligned at the same height. So all the cabinets, they were adjusted to have the aquariums all at the same height. And especially not for a sitting, but for standing position. So are extra high, you don't have to go low. So it's very comfortable to enjoy the aquariums. There are so many aquariums, I try to film them all and literally I run out of time. Let's have a look on the aquariums and I will tell you like little bits about every aquarium. Some of them I know the story behind, some are, I don't know, you can find out on Green Aqua channel, it's linked up here above. There you can find basically a video about each and every single aquarium they have here in their gallery. Another huge part of the gallery I would say are those cubic aquariums. They're like square almost but a little bit flattened. They are 90 by 90 centimeters in kind of round shape and 45 centimeter tall. Like 290 pieces squeezed together and you know kind of made one tank and they are gigantic and it's so much fun. They're 360 degree layout. You can walk around and really you know enjoy the layout from every single side and if you have the opportunity to get you know the electricity from the bottom or from the top somehow this is something really cool and I wish one day to have an aquarium like this like standing freestanding in the room super super cool. 
last but not least we have here the small 60 cm aquarium lined up. They're all maintained and used for educational videos on Green Aqua YouTube channel. I highly recommend everyone check out Green Aqua YouTube. If you aren't subscribed already, up here is the quick way. Let's get into the B-roll section of this video and go tank by tank. I will tell you the hardscape materials, the size, the technique and what plants have been used. Tank number one is a 120 by 45, 45 centimeter aquarium, 240 liters volume and is one of the few aquariums lit by T5 light. In this aquarium, Frodo stone and iron wood has been used. The iron wood has been arranged in the front of the aquarium, creating an illusion of the forest and with all the green plants behind it. Like in every aquarium, you can see amano shrimps and snails keeping everything in clean condition. The plants being used are Ricardia commentrifolia, Hygrophila panadifida, and Hydrocotyl tripartita. Tank number two has a little bit of a special story to it because this tank has actually been built twice. This tank was leaking and the guys from Green Aqua, they had to take everything out and rebuild it exactly as it was. The whole thing happened when the tank basically looked at its best, so it was really pity, but I guess by the footage you can see the aquarium is looking nonetheless just perfect right now. The hardscape is Dragonstone, you have the thick Monte Carlo carpet, the Fissidens and Ricardia mosses. And this tiny tiny super compact crypt is called Cryptocorini Wendy Ti Compact. The fish in this aquarium are called Glow Light Daniel. Coming next is tank number 3. This one has just recently been built and is still in the growing phase. We are coming to tank number 4 and tank number 4 was created by my good friend George Farmer. By the way, this aquarium was created during a live stream event in the old Green Aqua gallery. So if you want, you can check out the video on the Green Aqua YouTube channel. You can see from the very beginning till the end the entire creation process. In every aquarium Green Aqua, they're using the Twinster sterilizers as well as Eheim skimmers. The Eheim skimmer skims away the surface film and keeps it super clean, but also it helps for the oxygen, just the gas exchange of the water, so the plants and the fish they can breathe much better. The Twinster sterilizer at the same time is reducing the amount of algae spores and bacteria and microbes in the water, making it just much healthier for the fish and the shrimps in the water. The red plant in this aquarium is Ludwigia palustris, also known as Ludwigia super red. Under the solar RGB, no big surprise, this is a real eye catcher in this aquarium. And by the feedback of the customers of Green Aqua, this is one of their favorite aquariums. George has used a lot of crypts, but for some reason they melted and have been replaced by different carpeting plants on the sides, as well as Cyperus Helfry in the back. Coming to the tank number 5, which is my personal favorite, the Green Aqua team were inspired by Takashi Amano, one of his works in the Japan gallery. This aquarium is 180 by 60 by 60 centimeters, has a total volume of 650 liters and is lit by 3 solar RGB light. The hardscape material used in this aquarium is black lava rock, also known as Fuji stone, and red moor wood. This very impressive moss on the driftwood is by the way weeping moss. 
In the back of the aquarium there are a ton of stamps creating very rich pattern, making it a very lush looking aquarium and one specific plan that is very special to me is the Myrophyllum matogrossense. Not only the name is very difficult, but the plant is growing at a very very fast pace until you trim it a couple times. So guys, we are here at the end of this vlog, we had a look at all the aquariums and I'm really curious to know which of the aquariums is your favorite. Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the video that is coming next, the one we filmed today about the fish from Green Aqua. If it's already out, it will be linked up here, if not, come back later. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna see you in the next one.